Hi everybody. Welcome to Quantum Data. Today, we're going to go over the highest paid actress from 2004 to 2019. Make sure to watch until the end, to find out if your favorite actress is on the list. Enjoy! Most of us, at one point or another, have longed for greater fortunes. A bigger house, a nicer car. Or, at the very least, enough to pay the bills. Hollywood is chock full of loaded stars. Not all of them have made the bulk of their dough performing in front of the camera. And some have opted to spend their earnings on some most peculiar things. A career in acting is one of two extremes. On the one hand, there are actors who struggle to find work and to make ends meet. To the other extreme, there are those who have long-standing contracts with popular television series or who are in high demand for feature films. Women who have become successful actresses can find that it is a potentially lucrative career, and many of those who are at the top of their game are extremely wealthy. Many actresses are taking the pay gap into their own hands by producing their own projects including Reese Witherspoon and Nicole Kidman, who produce and star in the hit HBO series Big Little Lies. Witherspoon has her own production company, Hello Sunshine, which she started in 2012, to create more roles for women on screen and behind the scenes, she wrote in an essay for Glamour. Margot Robbie, also has a production company, Lucky Chap Entertainment, which focuses on telling women-driven stories. One such project is Birds of Prey, a female-led superhero movie released on February 7, 2020, which Robbie stars in. Seven of the top ten highest-earning actresses of 2019 were producers of their own projects, Forbes reports. Still, a significant pay gap exists. It's a step forward, for sure. But for true parity, it's not just Hollywood that has to change culture will have to shift too. Female-focused films will have to be as popular as action films, or women will have to play their super-powered and indestructible stars. Women like Witherspoon, Kidman, Theron, Jennifer Aniston, Margot Robbie, Elizabeth Moss and Ellen Pompeo, all of whom are among the highest-paid actresses, are working to advance this. As producers, they can ensure female-focused stories are made and that actresses are paid as much as actors. Plus, as executive producers, they collect a little bit extra for themselves. Across the board, actresses are fighting for more opportunities and for better roles. But, as is the case in pretty much every aspect of society, not everyone is being included in that fight in the same way. At least not yet.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of quantum data. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.